1950 in his paper titled Computing Machinery and Intelligence, Alan Turing introduced a test that today is commonly known as the Turing test. Turing was focusing on the question, can machines think? However, since thinking is difficult to define, Turing suggested to replace this question by another, which is closely related to it and is expressed in relatively unambiguous words. Alan Turing formulated a new form of the problem in terms of a three-person game called the imitation game. The imitation game is a three-player game in which player A is a man, player B is a woman, and player C, who plays the role of the interrogator, is of either sex. In the imitation game, player C is unable to see either player A or player B, and can communicate with them only through written notes. By asking questions of player A and player B, player C tries to determine which of the two is the man and which is the woman. Player A's role is to trick the interrogator into making the wrong decision, while player B attempts to assist the interrogator in making the right one. Once given the imitation game, the question posed by Turing was what will happen when a machine takes the part of A in this game? Will the interrogator decide wrongly as often when the game is played like this as it does when the game is played between a man and a woman? The original question can machines think should be replaced with are there imaginable digital computers which all do well in the imitation game? Many different variants of the Turing test have been proposed during the years. An interesting variant is when the objective of one or more of the roles have been reversed between machines and humans. This variant is named reverse Turing test. The challenge will be for the computer to be able to determine if it were interacting with a human or another computer. It is exactly what happens in CAPTCHA. 